Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to explore the updates made to the enhanced features in Lightroom Classic. When I select Photo and then Enhance from either the library or the develop module, Lightroom displays a dialog explaining that the enhanced features have been moved to the details panel and that denoise, raw details, and super resolution can now be applied non-destructively without creating a new DNG file. This will provide additional flexibility when editing, reduces the use of disk space, as well as the number of files that we'll need to manage. I'll go ahead and zoom in to 100%, and in the Details panel, I'll enable Denoise. Denoise uses AI to remove the noise in photos captured with high ISO settings or in low light. Then we can use the slider to either decrease the amount of noise reduction or increase the amount of noise reduction. All right, I'll double click on the tick mark in order to reset it to its default value. Then let's tap the backslash key to compare the before and after applying denoise. Next, I'm going to select this raw image and I want to zoom in to 200% this time in order to make sure that we can see the changes. I'll tap the Y key in order to compare the before and after, and then I'll apply raw details in order to improve the rendering of the small scale details. We can see that the edges of the diagonals appear less jagged with raw details applied. And again, this enhancement is applied directly to the original raw file. Now let's apply super resolution to double both the width and the height of the image so that it can be displayed or printed very large. We see that super resolution helps maintain clean edges and preserves important details. And again, the enhancement is applied directly to the raw file. One thing I wanna point out, Lightroom Classic does have a file size limit of 65,000 pixels in the long edge or 512 megapixels total. So you may not be able to apply super resolution to a really large file such as a panorama since doubling the pixel dimensions may exceed its limitations. And you can't apply super resolution more than once to the same file, but you can upscale the document after applying super resolution by choosing file and then export and using the image sizing options. All right, let's move to this next image. Clicking the warning icons in the details panel will display additional information. For example, denoise and super resolution can't be applied to the same original. However, we can apply denoise to our raw file and then choose to export our file, maybe as a TIFF file or a PSD file, and then add the exported file to the catalog. I'll go to the library module and add the newly created PSD file to my collection and then return to the develop module. Now I can apply super resolution to this image because unlike denoise and raw details, super resolution can be applied to not only raw files, but also TIFF, Photoshop, JPEG, and other file formats. All right, what if we want to return to our legacy files where we've used denoise in the past? Well, we're not able to change the amount of noise on those files. That noise reduction was baked in when we created the secondary DNG file. But we can always return to our original raw files and then apply the new non-destructive enhanced denoise. Now, if we've spent time making additional refinements to the image with the older denoise technology applied to it, we can select it and then choose copy. We can enable all of the settings that we want to copy from that previously enhanced file, copy those settings, move to the original, and then paste those settings. So the ability to add these enhancements non-destructively is going to change my workflow. Because while you can apply the enhanced features at any time in your workflow, I would recommend that you apply them before you make your other adjustments like texture and clarity, because otherwise you will most likely need to refine the sliders after the noise is removed. 
Likewise, if you apply masking or remove spots that use generative AI, you'll need to update your file after applying denoise. Now, if you apply the enhance options often, I would suggest that you create a preset to apply them more quickly and in batches. For example, this image has denoise set to 50. I'll click on the plus icon and choose create preset, and then I'll give it a name. I'll check none, and then only enable the denoise raw details and super resolution. Once I create this preset, we could select another image, and I could apply that preset here in the develop module, or we could move to the library module, and then using quick develop, choose save preset, and then apply our preset. And finally, I've included a link below with a list of all of the supported raw formats for denoise. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.